Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Beltran with the LECWA and the Make Water program. We have a video for you today on the coagulator kit, an unboxing of the kit, and a tutorial of how to operate that kit. So we'll have more on that after this. Wait in So hello and welcome to Make Water Season 3 uh, Coagulator Kit Tutorial and Unboxing. Every season we are going to be changing and updating each of these kits uh, as they evolve and as they get better. So if you're interested in actually participating and getting a kit, please visit makewater.org or our Patreon page, just uh, patreon.com slash makewater. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. This way you, you and your team can actually keep up to date uh, with the progress of the season uh, to keep y'all motivated, keep y'all going, and to get feedback from y'all as the season progresses. So don't forget to do that. So a little background on what Make Water is. Uh, Make Water is a program run by the nonprofit Alequa that I founded uh, where we challenge students to advance do-it-yourself water purification kits and systems. Um, every season between August and April, we give teams of students water coagulator kits paid for by sponsors so they don't have to purchase anything. Um, we take curriculum that we've made with uh, our partners and A&M University uh, and within this curriculum we give students challenges. These are STEM STEAM related challenges to actually participate in the evolution of this technology in this process. So not only are students uh, actually learning something but they're actually involved in innovating and they can leave their name and their stamp on something that is going to continue to grow every year. So what even is a coagulator kit? Uh, what is coagulation? When electricity flows through water, charged ions can condense or coagulate some contaminants. Coagulated particles will separate from the water, becoming much easier to filter out. This process is known as electrocoagulation, or EC for short. Here's a coagulator kit in action. So we are going to be doing an unboxing of the coagulator kit. Um, outside of this box, you should get two mason jars. So have those handy. In the kit for season three, we got two or more coffee filters, uh, black acrylic paint. You'll get a uh, mason jar 3D printed lid. Um, this is a USB cable for the Arduino. Uh, you get a power supply for the Arduino. And this season, it's 12 volts, one amp. You also get the actual Arduino itself uh, with uh, two alligator clips attached as well. Get two iron electrodes and two aluminum electrodes. That more or less is what you get in the kit. Voila. Voila. There's one more thing that we actually added to the kit after filming, and that was salt. So if your original kit didn't have salt included, go ahead and just use regular table salt. Okay, so let's actually put this kit to some use. What you're gonna wanna do is fill up this mason jar up to about here with water, and then take the acrylic paint and make sure you don't put too much. It's just gonna require like one drop. Now we're going to add a small amount of salt. Half a cap or a pinch of salt will do. This adds conductivity to the water which speeds up coagulation. Now screw the lid back on and give it a good shake until the water turns black. And ignore all the paint I have on my fingers. Take this lid back off. 
And then what we're gonna do is take two electrodes, it could be either the iron or the aluminum, and you take the 3D printed lid that we have, and you're gonna put that lid on top. And you're gonna pick two of the slots, and you're gonna put these just right in there so that they hang, or they actually go into the water. They're pretty good. And then we're gonna take the Arduino, which has these alligator clips, and it doesn't matter which goes onto which, but we're going to attach them onto the electrodes. Awesome, almost there. Now we take our power supply. Now before plugging in, make sure that no one is touching the electrodes and make sure the electrodes themselves aren't touching in the water. Once you plug in the Arduino, power is going to run through the alligator clips and electrodes, so don't touch them unless you want a shock. And we're going to plug it in. Now leave the kit running and you should see separation of the paint within five to eight minutes. If you don't see any bubbles at the top of the water around the electrodes, or there is no separation within that time frame, then you may need to double check the kit and the connections. So now that you have finished the coagulation process, get your second jar out, get your coffee filter out, and get the ring that goes with the other mason jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, pop that right in here, go over the lip there, and then you can actually screw it in here with this. The next step is we're going to start to filter. And as you do this, you'll start to see there'll just be clear water left at the bottom. That's it. You've done your first coagulator coagulation uh, coagulating tutorial. Um, it's pretty easy and there's so many possibilities with uh, this water process. This is why we've actually built our nonprofit around it. So I want to thank each and every one of you for stepping up and participating because uh, we can't do it without you. Feel free to reach out in the comments if you have any questions or feedback or anything. Uh, this is just the third season and every year we're going to get better and better.